It was one of the most beautiful days. I think everybody, uh, you know, you walk to work, you drove to work, you bike to work, who didn't think, you know, it, this is one of the most beautiful days I've ever seen. And it, and it was like, I think anybody would say it was just a normal day. Uh, you know, it was very early in the morning. The, the volunteers had just arrived and we were beginning to produce the 5,000 meals we produce every day. Uh, September 11, 2001 will always stick in my mind because I thought nothing like this would ever happen to us. I looked out my window every day at the Twin Towers, never took a picture because I just knew they would always be there. And I was heading to my first, ironically, uh, Middle Eastern politics class. And um, I got this really strange email from our professor that said, America's under attack please remain, you know, in your dorms. And kind of like, you know, panicked because we didn't know what was going on. There wasn't enough news out there at the time. We were doing our, we were doing a catering job um, and all of a sudden went outside. And when, when I went outside with my colleagues, we noticed that there was smoke in the air, helicopters flying over. And I said, that was unusual for me for being uh, from Washington, D.C. There's no flight um, zone in this area. I was in Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, I was working in a behavior modification class in a public school and uh, I got a page from uh, our home base um, and they were sending me messages asking me if I was okay, if my family was okay. And, uh, our catering uh, director at that time, Chris Johnson, got a phone call. Um, we had no you know, radi radios or uh, television. We had no really kind of contact to the outside. And so someone called Chris and told her that the um, the uh, Tra World Trade Center had um, been hit by planes. And the students were all, we were just kind of getting going on the day. Uh, and I think like everybody, the first memory I had was um, my wife calling and saying, did you hear that a, a plane had hit one of the towers? And I'm from New York, so you know I'm calling my family. All the lines are down. We spent the day just panicking, glued to the television. And I was wondering because you know my cousin was in the Twin Towers, my brother was downtown working in the hospital downtown. That's very close to the Twin Towers. So the day that they fell, not only was I devastated, but it was just something that blew my mind because I could never imagine not waking up in the morning and looking out a window and knowing that they would be there. And all of a sudden, there was this turmoil, I guess, you know, uh, uncertainty on what was really going on. And that's, you know, when it really hit. Um, and when I turned around, there was a TV on in the office and uh, it, I was on the Pentagon in flames. And being from the DC area and growing up here, I was kind of thrown off. Um, and it was like, what happened? And nobody seemed to know. So I came back and I pulled everybody together and told everybody there had been something, something had happened. Um, and I just wanted to get everybody informed, and we all went back to, uh, to preparing the meal. Thinking back on the day, it, it was the one moment that I felt most human and most American, mm -hmm. just unified with people and everybody feeling the same thing and wanting the best for everyone around them. A lot of us just kind of got together and said, you know, it's enough about talking, it's about, sh it's about proving that, you know, it's all one. We all experienced the same thing that day, and we still experience it. One of the most amazing things about America is that 90 million people a year volunteer, um, take a little bit of time out of their day, their week, their month, their life um, to contribute so that it affect others have food, uh, the elderly are cared for, the, you know, men and women who come home from foreign wars are welcomed. I do service um, basically because you should, and being military, and, and that's, that's just. I have, and too much is given, much is expected, so much has been given to me. It's really like coming out to the community to prove that we are doing this together and being here together instead of just talking about it. Well, I'm not a firefighter, I'm not a police officer, I'm not a soldier, um, but I can give back and contribute and give back to humanity and, and other Americans here by doing this type of service. If it was the President of the United States and someone in the job training program, at the kitchen we work side by side, this idea that we're both we're all Washingtonians, and we have an opportunity to work together side by side to make the city a better place. We do the service because it's needed. Uh, I mean, period. You know, hopefully today, if nothing else, that we remember how uh, 
how much that we mean to each other and, and how doing things like this um, can spread that and uh, give others the, the sense of humanity and hopefulness that we all gave to each other that day. We come together on 9-11 to think about that day and, and our country um, and our role in the future. You know, the, I think there's no better way to do that than that idea of side-by-side, -side, deeply American service to the community.